Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about how do you promote Bitcoin CPA offers on Max Bounty and elsewhere using Facebook ads. So if you sort this by the CPA rate and descending order, you see that the majority of the offers are actually for Bitcoin. So you see like Weed Millionaire, Arctic Kingdom, these are not Bitcoin. But then after that, we have Bitcoin, Coin, Konami, Crypto Investor, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So as you can see, some of the highest paying offers are all Bitcoin. And so, you know, it's obviously a lucrative area. So let's go look at one of these offers here. Let's, let's, let's look at Bitopia. What is Bitopia like? Let's quickly take a look. Bitogio, uh, FTD deposit 250, robo advisory with a twist, modern way to invest in Bitcoin. So all of these, so this one requires an FTD deposit of 250. Uh, this one, Bitcoin era. Let's try this Bitcoin era, tier one countries. And it requires an FTD, Bitcoin is making people rich, all these things. So regardless what you think about Bitcoin in general, uh, you know, like the technology and all that, the, the matter of fact is that there are some really serious offers here. And obviously, you know, somebody needs to place a deposit. These are not, you know, simple email submits or anything like that. Although maybe if we scroll down, uh, let's see if we try that. Let's put Bitcoin here and let's see cpa type dollar per lead and let's see uh filter mobile optimize let's take a look and let's see if, if we could look so there's an online tester 165 per lead and what is this offer about uh complete on lead submit enter a contest to win a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin so here's a so obviously you have a lot of offers to pick from right you have offers that pay a large amount of money and then you have offers that are just regular uh, email submit offers things like that so you know if you want to promote bitcoin you can promote you know really serious offers or you can promote just lead offers right and obviously you have only one lead so there's another i believe there's another soi here and we could take a look this offers converts on soi email phone full name so they're not even required. Uh, they're not even required to basically enter their credit card or anything like that. And it has a forty cent EPC. So this is a decent offer. Uh, that one, and you know, you could get sixteen dollars per lead, and the person doesn't really need to enter their you know financial details, their credit card number or anything like that, which usually stop people. And for a regular SOI. Uh, you have a pretty decent offer. So Bitcoin is obviously, it's a lucrative uh, market for promoting offers. The problem is a lot of services do not allow Bitcoin. So if we look at uh, the new ads policy for Facebook, prohibited financial products and services. Uh, you cannot, ads must not promote financial products and services that are frequently associated with misleading or deceptive promotional practices such as binary options, blah, blah, blah. And so what this means is that you won't be able to promote any of these higher paying offers and you probably are not going to be able to promote the, these smaller ones because the, the, um, the algorithm is going gonna, is gonna to tag you and they're, you know Facebook is going to look at it or they're just going to disable your account. So this is tricky one. So the best way uh, to promote Bitcoin on Facebook and also Google Ads, they also, uh, they're also very strict when it comes to... Uh, Bitcoin offers is that you have to go the, the other way, right? So what I would do is, and this is probably the best way of promoting these kinds of offers, is you would have to create a site, right? And this is not going to be a very serious site. It's not going to be a lot of articles. So here's an example of a site. I used to read this a lot when Bitcoin was big. This is 99 Bitcoins. And it's not a, you know, it's not a scam site or anything, right? This is a very good site. There's a lot of tutorials. Uh, free Bitcoin crash course, Bitcoin exchange, Bitcoin instantly, Bitcoin wallet. And so when you think about Bitcoin, right, just to kind of backtrack real quick, when you think about Bitcoin, there's the technology part, there's the educational part, and then there's the scams, right? There's a lot of scams on Bitcoin. And so it's like there, there's a lot of different things. What I like about Bitcoin personally is the technology behind it, the blockchain technology. And so you can use that, you can write content about it, you can write content about it, and then if somebody wants, you know, they want an offer, they want to try something, they want to invest, then you could, you could promote a certain offer. And so the way you should look at it is that you have two parts, kind of two, 
two pieces of the system. There's obviously more than that, but there are two main pieces. There's the educational side uh, side of the whole, you know, project, right? Where you're actually teaching people what Bitcoin is, how does it work, you know, the difference between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, the difference between Bitcoin and Litecoin, Ethereum, that kind of things, right? So you're basically, uh, you're capturing a lot of people that are interested in this space. And then there's, you know, you could have things where you are getting referrals for uh, submissions to Coinbase. Coinbase is a legit site, and I believe there's a really good refer, uh, referral program where you could you could send people to Coinbase. So it's not a Max Bounty offer, uh, nothing like that. Although they may advertise on Max Bounty from time to time. And so what you want to do is you want to take another approach. So take a look at this diagram I have here. We have this Bitcoin affiliate affiliate tracking flow, right? Affiliate marketing flow, actually. And so what we have here is a user. He goes to Facebook. And he eventually you have an ad and this is you have to make it a very innocent ad, right? You have to make it extremely innocent. You cannot promote any kind of investment opportunity. You cannot promote any kind of get rich scheme, uh, get rich scheme, uh, make money fast, any, any of that. You have to forget about the second part, right? So if you look at this two kind of two piece puzzle, you have this educational component and then you have this monetizational component. You have to be focusing completely on, on the educational component. So what you will have to do is you will have to create a website, right? This is going to be an innocent website, uh, very educational, have like maybe 10 articles on, right? This is a huge website, 99 bitcoins. It gets like million of visits per, per month, right? It gets a lot of a lot of views per month. This is a very big website. And what you can be talking about on your website is the, the educational stuff. So Bitcoin forks. Bitcoin blockchain technology, all that kind of stuff. You make a bunch of content and then you basically, you know, you you promote, you you create also a page for uh, a Facebook page for your uh, for your website. Call it something like Bitcoin education or blockchain technology, which is absolutely fine. It's not, you know, it's not one of these scams. And then you basically promote, uh, you could promote one of your articles there, right? And you could do, there are a couple of ways of doing it, right? You can have a, a free, you can have something like this. You can create an ad called free Bitcoin crash course. And when they click on it, it's going to go to a separate page and you're basically going to have an opt-in. And the second option, this is kind of a more lazier option, is that you can basically, you know, you could basically boost one of your articles. So let's say you have one article that's that you like. It's getting decent traffic, Bitcoin news. Some, uh, well, you're not going to boost any of these news articles. But if you take a look at this, uh, let's mine... Bitcoin trading guide. Okay, so this is probably, yeah, so something like this. Bitcoin trading guide for beginners, right? And and this is going to be a really nice piece. And you you can essentially, when they land on this piece, uh, you're going to have an opt-in, right? You're going to have some opt-in right here. And you're basically going to be getting traffic. And when they click on it, you're going to opt, you're going to be basically opting them in. And so you're going to be promoting these offers two ways. One, they're going to be promoted directly on your website. And this is going to be just links, banners, uh, things like that. And the second way you're going to be promoting is using an email list, right? So on the Bitcoin website, your Bitcoin website, and yeah, I'm telling you, you will have to get into this niche in a way, right? Because you cannot, you cannot promote this part, you know, this get rich uh, quick scheme. It's not white hat. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to promote this thing. I mean, maybe there's some native ad networks that allow it. I've seen some ads before, but you will have to check the, the policies. But if you want to promote it on Facebook or Google ads, and we're talking about Facebook, it's going to be very, very difficult to promote this element. And so you will have to create an educational website. And it's it's very easy, right? You know, a couple of articles on Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, you know, top 10 alternative uh, alternative, you know, uh, cryptocurrencies to Bitcoin. You know, what 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 is the problem with Bitcoin? How what are, what are the best uh, web apps for Bitcoin? What are the best uh, Mac OS Mac OS apps for Bitcoin? Right. You can create a lot of content around it and get people that are interested. And then once they're interested in actually investing in it, you know, spending their money, then you can send them offers. And this is how I would do it. And then so you're basically gonna have the Bitcoin website email is send them to the offer. And then they have the checkout page. This is actually checkout page in case you're confused. 
And so this is kind of how you have to promote. And this is really a template for promoting pretty much any of these high paying offers because the reason they're paying you this much money is because they're making many times over that. And the only way they can make that much money is by promising, you know, very uh, quick results and basically making money very, very quickly. And that's why Facebook doesn't like that because typically people are not going to make that much money. These are not typical results. And so my approach is legit. It's white hat. It's friendly. And you're giving people, all, you know, you're giving people education. You're telling them what it's all about. And you're saying, hey, here's an offer that, you know, here, here's something you want to invest. You can try investing. Okay, obviously you'll have to kind of pick, take a look at these offers, check the reputation, but this is kind of the way I would promote, okay? And for instance, like I had in my other video, I have a simple website about vlogging and cameras. And, you know, I can basically promote any kind of course on videography, photography, right? And obviously this is not, uh, this, this is not disallowed uh, by Facebook, but if it was, you know, obviously I have a site, I'm collecting leads, and people are coming in, they're, uh, they're uh, submitting their email, and then I can market to them later. And so right now, I want to quickly show you how you would possibly create ads in the Facebook ad manager for Bitcoin-related stuff. So we're in my ad manager here. We click on create, and we have this diagram here, and we, create, we choose a campaign name. So, you know, I would, I, would, I would name it something like BTC, you know, like campaign, campaign BTC or something like that. Uh, we're going to go with auction and traffic. So if you're collecting email leads, I would probably go with conversions and then install the pixel and track on the thank you page, right? The opt-in, the, the, opt the confirmation page. That is how I would do it. Uh, I'm not going to go into greater detail on this right now. That is something I may uh, touch upon later. It's also something I talk about in some of my other videos. And so let's continue this campaign setup. We have this ad set one, ad set BTC ad. And just to show you how it works. And then we go to save to draft. And now we're in our campaign screen as usual. And what you want to do is you want to go into your ad set. And the key here with always with Facebook is the targeting, right? We set our budget. Since we're getting leads and leads are not going to cost a lot of money, uh, we, you could set a $10 daily budget. Uh, we set our ad to run always the next day at midnight and uh, local account time we scroll down uh, we change the location to united states i always start with united states first uh, let's put united states okay we got united states we scroll down age we're gonna leave wide open gender wide open because we don't really know what's going on right now and here is where things get interested and i guess there are two approaches one is to Think about the technology side. The other one is thinking about the money investing side. And then also you could talk about different websites. So for instance, you could put Bitcoin here and you have a 23 million um, ad set and you have 3.2 leads and exactly right. So when you're creating an ad set, you want somewhere between, you want something around a million per ad set. But, uh, you know, even uh, sometimes I like to go to one to one to five million. So one million to five million uh, for each individual ad set. And then what I would do is I would duplicate this and create other ad sets because you always want to have, you know, one interest per ad set. Because if that if that ad set is converting, uh, you don't really know if you have multiple interests, you don't really know which interest is responsible for converting. Because what's going to happen is you may create five different ad sets and one of them is going to be doing really, really well. And so we have Bitcoin. And let me show you some of the other targeting options. Let's remove Bitcoin and let's play with something else. So if we, if we enter Bitcoin, and actually let's put it back so we can use the suggestions. And here we go. Cryptocurrency, Ethereum, digital currency, virtual currency. So let's say we pick cryptocurrency and remove Bitcoin. And what do we have? We have 1.4 million people. Very ideal. Extremely ideal. Uh, when it comes to placements, real quick, I like to start everything with Facebook newsfeed. So I deselect everything, pick face Facebook newsfeed. I scroll down, I unselect stories, in stream ads, search, and also in article. And I think that's it. And let's absent sites. I unselect that. And we have a little bit under a million, which is absolutely fine. And as you can see, using our budget, our $10 budget, 
uh, we're, you know, it's telling us we're going to reach only a small part of that audience per day. So you have a little bit of room to scale. Obviously, if you had something like two, three million, you would have a lot more room to scale. But that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. Let's let's dig deeper and see what else is out there, right? We have suggestions, uh, Ethereum, digital currency. And this is kind of why I love Facebook so much. You can really find anybody you want on Facebook. You could find any kind of person you want. And you could, you could market to them what they're interested in, right? So this cryptocurrency would be another ad set. And then I would basically, you know, I would, I would double this. I would duplicate this ad set and I would create something like uh, Ripple. Ripple is a payment protocol. And so now it's kind of getting day trader, right? It's getting a little bit farther from what we need. But still, this, uh, these interests are still valuable to us. We can still... Um, we could still advertise to these kinds of people because day traders, you know, it's very similar to Bitcoin, to, to day traders. Uh, it's still similar enough, although these are much better, right? Because judging by the suggestions, these are the next ones. And so what I would do is I would create multiple of these. Then I would go to my ad and I would actually create a very, very innocent ad. So something like Bitcoin education. How does Bitcoin work? Or the 10 differences between Litecoin and Bitcoin. You want to keep it, you want to keep it very innocent and, and kind of very technology, very tech, right? So if you have any trouble figuring it out, check out one of the uh, tech communities or like go on Reddit and look at some of the Reddit uh, Bitcoin or um, blockchain communities and see the names of the topics and take a look at the threads and take a look at some of the most popular threads and what they're called. And this is, could be a name of an article, right? Because, or you can go on Quora and search for Bitcoin and then find some of the most popular, most followed questions that are, are about Bitcoin or cryptocurrency and use that as a template for your ad. Because if it's the most popular question, obviously people, you know, a lot of people are interested in it. And with Quora, you have followers, you have a follower count because these people are interested in getting updates on that particular question. When it comes to Reddit, you have upvotes. So the more upvotes it is, the more popular that question is. And same, and you know, if you're just on a regular, you know, forum, uh, you will have threads. You know, the bigger the thread, the more, uh, the more interest there is, right? So you can get a lot of, a lot of value from like all this user generated content. And so I would figure out what people are interested in. I would write a, a big article and then I would basically boost that on Facebook. And when people come, there's going to be an opt-in. Also, make sure the opt-in is super innocent. Don't start selling these offers right in the opt-in because Facebook is going to look at, at your landing page, your site, and see that you're being super aggressive about it and they're going to disable your ad account. You want it to be super, super legit. And then somewhere down the road, maybe fifth email, maybe tenth email, or maybe somewhere hidden on your on your site, you're going to advertise some of these offers. But you're you're building an email list. You're building a, a very you know a very good yeah, a very lucrative email list, and you'll be able to monetize it one way or another because Bitcoin is a, is a very monetizable area. I mean, this site right here, this uh, 99 Bitcoin site, they're they're making a lot of money with all these affiliate products. Uh, you know, Bitcoin wallets, hardware wallets. Uh, Coinbase signups, you know all this. It's it's a very very lucrative area. So even if you are if even if you can't advertise a max bounty offer or a ClickBank offer, you'll still be be able to monetize it one way or another. All right, guys. So that's all I wanted to show you today. This is a big opportunity, and it's not very complicated to do. It's actually something that I might be doing myself. Uh, in the future, maybe next month, I may build a site around this, make it very small. It's also going to rank in Google. It's going to have Google SEO. So we're going to have, you know, Google SEO as well. It's going to be getting traffic from uh, Google. So we put that in here. And, and so we're not going to be just basically reliant on Facebook and Google is going to be sending traffic. And so it's going to be really, really, it's, it's a really good strategy. And that's kind of what all I have for you today. I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you've gotten some value out of it. I hope you kind of understand how to do it correctly so that it's legit, white hat, you don't, you're not going to get banned on Facebook and all that because I don't want you to get banned. It's, it's, it's an annoying process. And so I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you got gotten any value out of it, click the like button. It really helps out. Uh, comment below, ask a question, anything you need to know, I will be glad to help you out. And if you're interested in similar videos, uh, all of these kind of online digital marketing content that I have a lot of videos about on. And I'm going to be making a lot of future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell to get uh, quick updates. 
and I will see you in the future video.